Checking grades in PowerSchool. Begin by visiting the school website at www.sevenhillscharter.org. Next, click on the green PowerSchool link near the top of the page. This brings us to our PowerSchool login screen. Enter your username and password, which should have been mailed to you. If you don't have it, please contact your child's teacher. When done, click on the enter button and you'll be logged into PowerSchool where you can check your child's grades. We're on the grades and attendance page, which you can get to later by clicking on the link at the top. But let's scroll down and check the grades in math class. Note that we see grades of 1, 2, 3, and 4 for each term, but keep in mind that these mean nothing. Just click on the grade to view all the assessments so far for each class. To reiterate, no class receives a final grade, only standards receive final grades. View the assessments of each class to determine if your child is on the track to mastery. Here we're looking at grades in math class. All these assessments are sorted by category, which is the standard, and then date. It's important that these are sorted by date so you can see how your child progresses over the course of the year in each standard or category. Remember, one means not mastered, two means partially mastered, three means mastered, and four means advanced mastery. Here's a little chart. The goal is for your child to master all standards by the end of the year. You can then browse other classes' grades by clicking the Grades and Attendance button at the top of your screen. But now we'll check the email. PowerSchool has nice email alerts where you can sign up for grades and attendance and uh, other notifications delivered right to your inbox. Just check off the ones that you want and then we'll use our drop down menu to choose how frequently we want them. We recommend once a week or once every two weeks. When it's sent now, now if you just type in our email address, if uh, you want it sent to two people, you can put two email addresses, just separate them with a comma. When you're done, click submit and you're all set. Thanks for watching.